I want to ask about Taiwan, which is something that your foreign minister this week has brought up with Secretary of State Antony Blinken. If people don't know, I want to remind them the United States has agreed with China that there is one China, that Taiwan is part of China. Yes. At the moment, of course, there are two uh, governments, and the United States has argued that Taiwan's future should be determined by the Taiwanese people. Mm -hmm. Do you agree with that? No, I don't agree with that. One China policy is the most important foundation of uh, China-U.S. relations. The government of the People's Republic of China is the sole legal government representing China. But recently, we have seen the escalation of tension in the situation across Taiwan's streets. This is because the Taiwanese authority is trying to seek its independent agenda by borrowing the support and the encouragement of the United States. And the United States is playing a Taiwan card. Playing the to, Taiwan card. To contain what does that China. Mean? To contain China. To contain China. What that means? The United States has been walking away bit a bit from its commitment by increasing its official links, even upgrading them, by selling more advanced weaponries to Taiwan, by even sending soldiers landing on Taiwan. There is much fear in the United States of an eventual effort by China to resolve this matter militarily, to attack Taiwan. Should Americans be concerned about a Chinese attack on Taiwan? Well, let me say this. People on both sides of Taiwan streets are Chinese. So we are compatriots. So the last thing we do is to fight with our compatriots. And we will do our utmost in the greatest sincerity to achieve a peaceful reunification. But as I said, Taiwanese authority is walking down the road towards the independence emboldened by the United States. So China will not commit to giving up uh, the unpeaceful means for reunification because this is deterrence. Let me emphasize this. The Taiwan issue is the biggest tinderbox between China and the United States. If you know, the Taiwanese authorities emboldened by the United States you know, keep going down the road for independence, it most likely involve China and the United States, the two big countries, in the military conflict. We also asked Chin how his president, Xi Jinping, views the United States. Nobody in China bet against the United States. Everybody in China, including the Chinese leadership, believe that the United States is one of its most important countries. And the relationship between China and the United States is the most important relationship. We must work well and don't mess it up. Ambassador, it's been a pleasure talking with you. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. 